Okay, so you are saying right, it's MIUI 12.5 Enhanced Edition and let me note it. I haven't installed any kind of ported ROM yet and yes, it is officially rolling out for the Redmi Note 8 users. Right now, it's in China. So China's stable update is here which we have installed on our device and if you're looking for a global or India stable, unfortunately there is no date for yet because they even didn't got the MIUI 12.5 stable yet and China stable was released some time ago I made a video on that you can go and check it out but right now we have the MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition we're going to talk about the things you get in this MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition for the Redmi Note 8 so make sure to watch this video till then we're going to talk about the features and change logs about this build stay tuned for this now let's just talk about these things of MIUI 12.5 extension the first one as I just told you extension me memory extension feature is now officially added in the Redmi Note 8 update. It was added in the beta updates like China beta updates, Xiaomi EU updates. I made a video on that that was officially added here. To apply any kind of change of course you need to reboot your device if you want to enable the memory extension feature or if you want to disable the memory extension feature if they were added officially in the stable version which means it's working perfectly fine and yes you can simply add approximately a 1 GB of RAM this is good you can simply increase your device RAM up to 1 GB and it's only for the Redmi Note 8 users other devices might have more than that and the maximum you can increase storage is 4 GB of RAM that's not in Redmi Note 8 by the way but that's officially if we talk about the memory extension feature also in the new privacy related things yes the new privacy manager is here because uh, it's a china update it's not a global update so here you have all the features lock apps password etc unfortunately there is no incognito mode option is still present there but you can access the incognito mode option from this privacy settings how you can access that i made a video on miui features which you can unlock on your device with that app miui hidden lips so you can go and check it out on my channel the control center and notification shade is of course a new one you can simply swipe between the control center and the notification shade how you can do that you will whenever you open the control center for the first time you'll see this pop up this kind of thing swipe to switch between the control center and notification shade then you'll be able to switch between notifications and control center as it's a china stable update so yes the text is in chinese as you can see the wi-fi and mobile data bluetooth the text is in Chinese language, but yes, you can use the Xiaomi EU build, which is also available. That includes the Google apps, that includes the English language, global languages. So if you have unlocked bootloader, you can install that. It's up to you. Everything else you just saw, these are the things you get here about this latest update. You can see here, this is the swipe speed. Right now, the speed is not that bad because this is the China update. But yes, you can expect more better than this. Create PDF option is also included in the new gallery option if you have any kind of picture and if you want to create the PDF for that, that's quite easy. You can simply move on to the more option, click on create PDF and you the photo PDF is automatically created. That's good. And if you don't want to use it, you can simply ignore it and everything else is same. You can cast, recognize text, art, slideshow, rename. And if you are using a go Google apps and some things like that, you can even get the Google lens option. The camera does not have any kind of major changes by the way night mode 48 megapixel panorama no camera extra features are available and this new ui was introduced in miui 12 at uh, miui 12 maybe and yes it's also there so no major changes in the camera everything else is just same about this update the biggest change and one of the best change out there as you get this new power mode balance mode and performance mode in battery section that is actually quite good if you want to enable these options you can you cannot swipe between by the way like this but you need to simply click here for example if you want to enable the performance mode it will show you something like this device performance will improve this might increase the power consumption and lead to overheating issues turn on anyway if you want to enable it then your device performance might be increased according to them is it, it is red be noted so just don't expect much things regarding that but yes if you want to you can if you want to enable the power mode which means better battery backup it's up to you this is a very good thing by the way you can get this feature in other devices also how you can get that you can simply comment below i'll try to provide you the video for that but everything else is same if you want to try it out you can in the terms of other features and etc features are kind of same wallpapers and personalization lock screen etc does not include any kind of major changes in the terms of special features if you want to check out the game turbo it's also there but just don't expect the new game turbo for example in this game turbo it does not even include the voice changer for you for example if you move on to this option 
I tried enabling the game turbo in any other app because I don't have game right now and here you have these options. There is no voice changer, there is no UI of the game turbo latest one but you can get the latest game turbo. I made a video on that how you can get the English language game turbo, the new updated game turbo you can get that. How you can get that make sure to check out the video already available and like that the video toolbox is also kind of same. There are no major changes there but if you want to try it out you can. Link is the description if you want to install it make sure you have unlocked bootloader and you can install this build. This is all thanks for watching and goodbye. Like I'm floating through the air